What do you think about Cam Newton's comments about potentially wanting to be a backup quarterback in the NFL this upcoming season? I think Cam got some nerve, man. I'm taking this a completely different route. I mean, I'm not saying he can't be a backup, but for the way that he's been talking, how he started things off with saying, ain't 32 guys better than me in this league, you crazy, blah, 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 blah. Going into Auburn saying, yo, I need to use the field on, a, on, on the kids pro day, whether or not it was at the end, at the beginning, whatever. You taking attention away from kids trying to make it to the league for your benefit when you could have hosted your own pro, you know what I'm saying? It's just, he's rubbed me the wrong way how he's been going about this. And then for you to come out on this platform, whatever that was, again, I don't remember if it was a podcast. I don't remember if it was like a specific app. And for you to go and list preferred destinations like you have a choice. Like Shannon Sharp talked about it perfectly today. He's like, he's like, I'll use an example. He's like, I got no job, but I'm only willing to work for the top 10 companies in the United States of America. But I'm unemployed. Bro, you got no dividends as to where you're going to end up. There's a reason why you weren't on a roster last year. There's a reason why nobody has called you to be a backup this year. Again, as far as the media is concerned, to our knowledge. There is a reason why you have had limited opportunities in the places that you have been and have been benched in each of them because of your performance. I don't want to hear you didn't have time in New England. I don't want to hear that you didn't have time in Carolina. You made the decisions to go to these places. You know what each situation was. You had time to learn the playbook. You got sick with COVID. You were out when you weren't supposed to. You contracted the virus at the time when nobody knew about it, and you missed practices, and you missed time, and you had fatigue because of the virus. Fine. You chose to go back to Carolina thinking that you could fix it with your whole escapade of, I'm back, and then you sucked the the remainder of that season. And you got benched. What's your excuse there? I didn't have time to learn the playbook. Matt Rule was a bad head coach. You chose to be a part of these situations you had a flash in week one week two whatever the case in new england kyle knows the game i'm talking about when you play seattle and you lose on fourth down because of the play call and you had some flat you had over 300 yard passing you had like two three touchdowns you looked like you could do it and then you fell apart when you have to be a pure pocket quarterback you're not there anymore bro i'm sorry and then the hype video of your pro day i don't know if anybody else noticed They were all edits of Cam throwing the ball, and then they'd skip to the receiver catching the ball. Or they would show the receiver running the route, and the ball would hit their hands. How do I know Cam threw that? If I'm an NFL GM, if I'm a scout, how do I know that Cam did that? How do I know that Cam threw accurately? How many passes did Cam miss before that hype video, before that receiver caught that pass? I'm just saying. It's a little weird that you got to go and talk about yourself in such a high regard. You're a former NFL MVP. You've had success in the league. You've had max contracts. You've made it to a Super Bowl. If not for Von Miller, you may have even won a Super Bowl because the offense of the Broncos was that bad. But you didn't. You haven't made a Pro Bowl in years. You haven't been successful in the NFL and throwing over 3,000 passing yards in years. You haven't been consistently on an active roster for the whole season. In years, it is now 2023, and you were talking about at the age of 32, 33 years old, that you could still start over a number of quarterbacks. And how convenient is it that the list of quarterbacks that you said you would back up all have potential issues looming? Lamar Jackson, injury history. Deshaun Watson, legal history. Rookies, you may bench them because they're not performing and you, want, you don't want to lose games. Sam Howell in Washington, a guy that has one start under his belt with a head coach that has already chosen to prove uh, to, to pick the veteran on that roster. Papa, you're not looking good, bro. You, you didn't pick uh, Aaron Rodgers, older age. If you were to get rocked, you'd have to immediately go into a good situation. I'm just saying. You picked a lot of convenient situations for you to have an opportunity to at least compete for a job. I didn't hear you say Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, you said Josh Allen, but again, mobile quarterback, somebody who could get hurt. I'm just, I'm, listen, it was just real convenient. You didn't list a lot of other teams that had definitively positioned quarterbacks. You chose people that are going to be rookies or quarterbacks that could get injured. Or, or, or something could come about you ending up having to start. Cam, let it go. If somebody gives you an opportunity to hold a clipboard, at this point you want to be in the league so bad, you take it. But if you want to play football the way you talk about it, 
bro, call The Rock. Dwayne will definitely give you a job somewhere, bro. Somebody will give you a job. You got to prove it to these people. Not a hype video, not an edited video, not an Auburn Pro Day, not tape from 2015. You got to go out there and prove it. There are plenty of people in the XFL currently that are playing for a bigger game at stake. They're playing for a future opportunity to get in an NFL roster. You want to prove that you can still play? Go give Dwayne a call. You know, I was looking at some of camp stats over the last couple of years, and obviously, you know, he suffers that major sh shoulder injury. I think it was 2019. I think that was his last year with Carolina like, in his first stint. And then he goes to New England. And then the year after that, goes to Carolina on his second stint, plays eight games. So, Kev, let me put this into perspective for you. From 2020 to 2021, so 2021 was the last year that he last played in the NFL. Kev, he threw, I believe, under 15 touchdowns in two seasons. And I believe in that year with New England, he threw eight touchdowns to 10 interceptions. So you have a negative touchdown to interception ratio. Granted, he was completing 65% of his passes. Didn't even throw for 3,000 yards. I think he threw for around 2,600. And he has that one big moment in Carolina on a second stint where, like you said, I'm back. And then doesn't follow it up. And Carolina really wasn't that big of a contender in that season anyway. So when it comes to Cam, I think when it comes to this idea that he thinks that he's better than the field of starting quarterbacks that are ahead of him. He's basically saying that I could definitely compete with these guys. That's over with. It's not, he's not the same anymore. If this was 2015 cam. This would be different. We, like you said, Kev, this is 2023. We're past this cam. Just can't play at a high level at the quarterback position anymore. And I don't want to lose sight of this. When it comes to cams, athletic ability, I know what he's capable of. This dude, from an athletic perspective, is everything you look at for a quarterback. The dude is a tank at what? 6'4", 6'5". I think he weighs like 230, 240, maybe even up to 250 pounds. And the, and the dude can break contact and, and extend plays with his feet. And there's only a few other guys in the NFL that could do that consistently. But... There's more to being a quarterback than just being able to run out of the pocket to pick up a couple extra yards. You need to be able to complete passes at a high level. And, you know, when it comes to his recent record, it doesn't indicate that. And I think people need to make this distinction when it comes to Cam. Cam is a great athlete. And at a time, he was a really good quarterback, an MVP caliber quarterback. But that was in 2015, 2016. We are now in 2023, and Cam didn't even play last year. Now, when it comes to the idea of him holding a clipboard and being a backup quarterback, okay, fine. I don't see an issue with that. But like Cam said in the video, there may already be predetermined players to be a backup quarterback for some of the quarterbacks that he listed in that video. And I think if a team were to contact Cam Newton, I think it would come with essentially bringing him on as an emergency backup. Like if you were to lose a quarterback due to injury, you insert the backup quarterback, you know, maybe you bring him in as that third option. That's pretty much, I think the only pathway that I see for Cam. And when it comes to Cam and the knowledge that he could bring, if he were to end up on an NFL roster as a backup quarterback, I think that he could be definitely, you know, someone of service. In that role, especially when you have somebody that A, went to a Super Bowl and does have an MVP notch on his belt. But when it comes to his ability to be, I would say, an average quarterback in the NFL, those days are over with. Just the, the recent history doesn't support that. And I understand that Cam is not relatively old when it comes to being the age that he's at. He's in his early 30s. It's not like he's like pushing... 40 like Aaron Rodgers. You know, that's a good that's a different situation entirely. Aaron Rodgers is still playing at a high level. Cam isn't. And I understand that Cam, you know, has probably some better athletic qualities than Aaron Rodgers, but Aaron Rodgers can still sling it. Aaron Rodgers is still somebody that is pretty effective in completing 
passes at a 65% clip. Cam can't really do that consistently anymore. He's never been the same since that shoulder surgery. And unfortunately for him, I think the only way that he gets back into the NFL is as a backup. And I think as the years go on and those opportunities to potentially get back there and to be on an NFL team, they just don't manifest themselves. You know, I think Cam's going to have to come with the reality or he's going to have to face the reality that it's over. I'm not saying right now that he should just flat out retire. I think that's a little bit too premature. But the idea of that is creeping up. There's no doubt about that. But I wouldn't be surprised if at some point during the regular season, if a team contacts him, if they have a pretty bad situation at the quarterback spot on a respective team. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if a team contacts Cam. And if he gets a backup job, man, good for him. But you're going to be holding the clipboard. And you're going to give you know, a backup quarterback or even a quarterback on the roster some advice. You know, and, and hell, I mean, if they go down, maybe Cam you know, gets another opportunity, gets another crack at being an NFL quarterback. But I think you'd have to have two or three things to happen for you to get that opportunity. I mean, the biggest one is actually being able to get on a roster. And I think at that, I think at this point, it's it could happen, but I think the odds of that actually happening are, are probably decreasing the farther we go along. But I mean, at this point, Cam is pretty much done as a, as an NFL quarterback. I I don't really see any other way forward unless somebody were to go down with an injury and then they bring him in based on an emergency situation. But this ain't 2015 cam anymore. And honestly, it's as simple as that.